Auburn in 2013, Mississippi State in 2014. Okay, let's not get that crazy, but let's talk about the Bulldogs moving forward after the Bulldogs blasted Rice in the Liberty Bowl, 44-7. Not much to talk about concerning this football game, but it again proves that the ninth best team in the SEC is better than the Conference USA champion by just about that much. 44-7, the Bulldogs blasted Rice. The Owls scored the first touchdown of the game. Then it was Mississippi State in a cakewalk after that. We expected it. Many expected it. Mississippi State had one of the best front sevens in the SEC and held down Alabama, took Auburn to the last uh, play of the game, and played one-score games against some of the better teams in the SEC. Again, the Bulldogs blast the Rice Owls 44-7. Let's talk about what the Bulldogs have looking forward in 2014. We start with quarterback Dak Prescott. He was banged up late in the season, missed a lot of key moments late in the season down the stretch against Alabama in particular, also against Arkansas. 17 of 28 on this night, 283 yards passing, three passing touchdowns, two rushing touchdowns. He ran for 78 yards. Player of the game by far, Dak Prescott. Bulldog fans, you've got to be excited about this guy coming back to run the offense. Again, 283 through the air against Rice, 78 rushing, five total touchdowns. And his backup, Damian Williams, showed some things as well over the latter half of the season, came in against Alabama as a true freshman, having not thrown a pass the entire season, and threw what was on target two touchdown passes that were dropped, and despite the 0-for-5 effort, uh, acquitted himself well against the current number one team, the Alabama Crimson Tide, and ran for the game-winning touchdown that won the game at Arkansas, that uh, gave this team some momentum going into the Egg Bowl and pulling off the slight upset against Ole Miss, winning it overtime again, that allowed Dan Mullen's team to win this bowl game and finish at 7-6. and six. So Dan Mullen's team very close to not making postseason competition. It could have been a disastrous season, sitting at 4-6, and six, playing at Arkansas, where the Bulldogs had never won in program history, and then Ole Miss in the Egg Bowl, uh, a team that looked to be better at that point, and then this this uh, Liberty Bowl win. So the Bulldogs finish well at seven and six. Let's talk about some other key contributors coming back in 2014. Okay, in the running game, La, uh, Ladarius Perkins gained a thousand yards last season. Uh, didn't have that productive of a season this year. He's gone. He's been the main running back uh, in his stay in Starkville. So you've got the sophomore Josh Robinson ran it three times for 45 yards. Today, 78 attempts this season, had his biggest game against Arkansas with 101 yards. The freshman, Ashton Shumpert, ran six times in this game, 39 attempts this season. Bulldog fans, let us know what you think about the competition between Robinson and Shumpert and anybody else in the mix for 2014. At wide receiver, Bulldog fans got to be pumped about uh, Jamie and Lewis coming back after a huge effort against Rice in the Liberty. Nine catches, 220 yards. He caught uh, 64 on the season for 923. Almost a 1,000-yard receiver at Mississippi State. You don't see that much. And Jamie Lewis hauled in five touchdown receptions. Also with a freshman in Deronia Wilson with 24 receptions this season. And your top pass-catching tight end is coming back in Malcolm Johnson, who had 30 receptions this season. This team is losing four seniors out of the starting units, out of those 24 players that start offense, defense, special teams, punter, and kicker, four out of 24. Of course, the most notable one, Gabe Jackson, the offensive guard, who will be moving on to the NFL draft and should be selected in the first round. Okay, on defense, we looked at the defense, and really the two big playmakers from 2013 that do not return are Deontay Skinner, who had 61 total tackles and four and a half tackles for loss, and also Nico Whitley, one of the top defensive backs in the conference, 55 total tackles and five interceptions. The rest of the playmakers back, and there are more than this, but let's run down a few here. You've got a sophomore in Bernard Rick McKinney, 70 total tackles to lead the team and six tackles for loss. Also, Preston Smith, defensive lineman, junior, 38 tackles, six and a half tackles for loss. Matt Wells, junior linebacker, coming back for his senior season. He notched six tackles for loss. All these stats coming into the bowl game. And also, uh, Kendrick Market, a sophomore defensive back, 
with 60 total tackles, one of the three top tacklers on the Bulldogs football team. Dan Mullen hanging on to his job. This was a huge victory for him, probably not as big as the Egg Bowl. So he was very much on the fence, a play or two away from losing that game against Ole Miss, and then who knows, against Arkansas as well. So it could have been a 4-8 and eight season, but it turns out to be two overtime wins to conclude the regular season. They go in and they completely annihilate Rice as expected, as it should have been, 44-7. to seven. So suddenly Mississippi State has a little mojo, similar to what we saw with Ole Miss at the end of 2012 with a big win in the Egg Bowl, a win over LSU for Ole Miss, and then they stopped uh, Pitt in the Compass Bowl, got the top five recruiting class. Okay, we don't expect the top five recruiting class from Mississippi State, but the Bulldogs should haul in a pretty good class in the top 25 or 30. Again, a 7-6 and six football team. Dan Mullen is expecting great things, only losing four seniors. Bulldog fans, let us know what you think about some of the spots that we missed. Look at the offensive line and, and uh, make some decisions in regards to who you would like to see with the football out of the backfield in 2014. Need to hear from you now on Mark Rogers TV.